there is a movement of people who like big hills, but other people who just think that a medium-sized hound does better out hunting, uh, stays sound longer. But now there you've got uh, a large hound wow. and a medium hound. Now they're both just wired to where they're great, but now that's the difference when you go to a hound show. If somebody like Marty Wood, he loves the big house. The English love the big house. But now, this is the size that English hounds used to be yeah. for years and years and years. It's Christopher and Taya. And people didn't want big hounds. They wanted this size. Now. They could put more muscle on it and it stayed up. And that's a perfect example of a a large hound and a medium sized hound. They're both English. What do you all like? Which one do you like the best? Huh? I like this one. Yeah? Well, that's. Uh, Peyton's always been my Yeah, I like this one. Because this is a, a really proper English hound that's big. This hound came He's from England. Big. And this hound, in the. In the, about after World War II, they used to have big, heavy, clubby hounds, and they changed the whole breed in England to get a, a, a smaller bought hound, and then in America, we brought them up, and England started to make them bigger and bigger. And like I'm saying, the, the problem you got with any dog breed, if you don't keep breeding for size, they keep getting smaller and okay. smaller and smaller. So if if you don't try to get a 24 or 25 inch hound, pretty soon you're gonna end up with an 18 inch hound and that's too small, so. Okay. <clears throat> we have had a number of English huntsmen come over here, a number that we have brought over here to hunt with us so that they can't believe number one is the speed of the hounds and the way people ride past trees at 30 miles an hour down through woods and all that. I mean, they just don't want to do it. And the second thing it is not only the way we run, we don't have covers like they do. You get, say at the Cotsmore, you know, people sponsor covers. They have covers on their property that's three, four, five, ten acres of woods that they'll go from one cover to the next. And here we don't have that. You know, Lilla can be in Foxtrot in Murphy's cover, which is a proper cover. But then, you know, the coyote takes off and he may go two miles to Pauline's Ridge. And then she's got to take, not only run the coyote, then she's got to get her hounds together then draw Pauline's Ridge again. Well, I think, since the early 90s, America has completely changed all their hounds, don't you, Lilla? I mean, it, it, it's just the same as people out hunting. You know, they got to have a different kind of horse uh, for coyotes. And the hounds are the same way. Instead of, of a burst of speed chasing a fox, you know, up to that hill and around, you know, with a coyote, they got to have a burst of speed that'll go five miles immediately. I mean, from zero to flat out for five miles running coyote, but a fox, they tend to run the circle and you have a lot more checks, where coyotes you don't have as many checks. But I think you have, you've got to breed, you know, other people completely disagree with me. I think coyotes are a lot harder to run than a fox. And people say, well, there's, since they're bigger, the smells more. I just don't agree with that. You know, a fox, doesn't go as fast, and a coyote, when he's running, I mean, that scent has to dissipate quicker because he's he's just faster, he goes through, and they're smarter, God they're smarter. Mm. And these hounds, the amount of control that Lilla has to have now that what you had in the early 90s is just completely, people just don't realize it, after Lilla runs, a three or four mile run and she's collecting hounds 
and she gets all of them, but two, how hard that is. I mean, these hounds sometimes are two miles ahead of you, and you catch up, and you've got to blow the horn and get them in.